So I started this channel building a lot of terrain first. And I think there's a lot of people like that because terrain is fun to build. And I didn't really have a table in mind at the time. But in a recent video, I built what I called my terrain tiles, those two by two foot tiles that snap together and they could potentially be any size of board. But what I need is a table to put them on. I wanted something that could accommodate a four foot by six foot battlefield. And there's a lot of tables on the market, but they're too expensive for what I want to do. That's where Bruce Hurst comes in. Now he's best known for these castle and sci-fi molds that you can buy on his website, hearstarts.com. And I was looking around at some of these molds and he has a section called tips and tricks. And under that section, I was able to find instructions on how to build a tabletop that is broken into two sections that's covered in faux leather that you can put on, say, a table you have at home, like a dining table. So I decided to give the project a go with only very minor changes. If you want to see a detailed how-to, check out the website. I put the URL in the description. I started with a four foot by eight foot piece of OSB. I decided to cut one foot off the end and then slice the remaining piece in half. The reason I didn't do a 4x8 was I didn't have quite enough room in my garage if I was going to set up for games. So I end up with two pieces that are 3.5 foot by 4 foot each. When I put them together, I've got a 7 foot table. So I try to knock off any burrs or anything that might damage my faux leather. And I got the faux leather from Walmart. I just told the guy I was making two card tables and he gave me a couple extra inches on each end, I think for free. I just told him the proportions of my tabletops. You lay it down flat and then you put your board on top. And when you put your tacks or your little carpet nails into it, you want to pull it pretty taut so you don't have a bunch of loose fabric on the other side. I just used little tacks I had and then tacks you have like for a poster board they work just fine the only tricky part is the corner and this is something you see in detail on herstarts.com but basically I just kind of tucked it and folded it as over itself I'm not a upholstery guru so you might want to watch another YouTube channel if you really want to get it perfect the big thing is you don't want the bunching on the sides where the two boards are going to meet each other because then you'll get a gap. Making something like this, they're pretty big, but it's still portable. If you had a big enough car, you could take these someplace to like an event. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys use for a table when you're playing war games? I actually got the big piece of plywood for free so overall cost for this project for me was probably less than forty dollars and I know that you know sometimes people get lucky in different ways one thing Bruce Hurst said when we had an email exchange if he was gonna change the project and he did it 16 years ago he said I wouldn't use plastic hose clamps because those actually started to fall apart so I went with metal hose clamps and I just put one in each corner and I use a quarter inch screw and affix a hose clamp in each corner. So I used eight in total, four on each board. One thing to remember is the look of the top of the board is way more important than the bottom of the board. These little felt pads I was able to get from the Dollar Tree, which saved me a lot of money, and I could just split the pack in half and use half on each side. What I didn't trust was the crappy adhesive on the back of them, so I decided to just do a big gob of wood glue on each piece, and that'll give it a really solid hold. So these felt pads, what they're gonna do is protect whatever table you're putting this on top of from getting scratched up by your plywood or your OSB or your particle board. This is another part where I got lucky. So this three foot by six foot 
ping pong table. I got it from a thrift shop for only $10. So that's a three by six table that folds up into this square and also has space to store things on the inside. All it has is a small dent in the side, otherwise it's great. And then once you've got both pieces on, you've got a seven foot table and you use some bungee cords underneath and that holds the whole thing stable. And then in my case, I have my terrain tiles that I built in another video, link in the description. And I just snapped those together. And if I made two more tiles, I'd have a six foot battlefield. Here's another thing I discovered. Let's say I wanted a smaller skirmish game on a three by three or four by four. I just take one of those table halves, bring it inside, bungee cord it to my coffee table, and then in my case I snap my terrain tiles on there. You could do a battle mat or something like that. And in my case, it doesn't matter that these overhang the side just a little bit because I'm not planning on pushing on it and my tiles are magnetized and I'm going to have buildings on it anyway. Well, thank you guys for watching this little project and thanks to Bruce Hurst for the idea. I have been scouring thrift shops trying to find cool stuff to build all my new projects with. So stay tuned. I've got some really cool ideas in the future. And I appreciate everybody who's followed me and liked and subscribed. Thanks a lot, guys.